Yeah, so I was calling in. Um, I wanted to know about getting into companies like, um, for example, maybe hardware companies, maybe like NVIDIA. Um, what, what, what those interviews kind of look like, like what should I be prepared for? Because I've seen some things, everybody knows the typical leak code um, interview, but I've seen more of these hardware companies stray away from some of these topics. So, yeah. Like kind of what does that interview process look like? Because I, yeah, I just don't know anybody. A lot of them are going to ask you like hardware specific related questions. So they might ask you, for example, um, I, I don't think NVIDIA is going to ask you this because it's just so basic, but like just to get an understanding for your current level of competency, I'm going to ask you this because then I'm going to take it up from there, if that makes sense. Like, can you tell me the difference between a signed and unsigned integer? Hello? Yeah. Um... No, I can't. Okay. What's what's your? How much have you programmed? Uh, pr pretty good amount. What language? I'm, I'm mostly Java. I'm I'm a junior in college now. Okay. Um, that's concerning if you don't know the difference between a signed and unsigned integer and you're a junior. Uh, so what's the difference? Uh, signed integers can represent negative values from around negative two billion to. To two billion and then unsigned integers the range shifts up and they can only represent positive values from zero to four billion mm. so if i was to ask you what's like the default do you know what a float and a double are yeah okay what's the default in most languages doesn't it default um double yeah and then if i was to ask you for example how is a double represented? There's two components to the double being represented at the bit level. What are those two components? How it's represented on yeah. a bit level? Yeah, because like everything at the end of the day is ones and zeros, but yeah, there are yeah. two terms used to represent how a double is stored. I couldn't tell you that. Okay, so have you heard of like uh, exponent and man mantisa? I know what an exponent is. I don't know what an exponent mantisa is. No. Okay. Those are those are two ways that people usually represent floating point uh, values in in programming languages. So are you telling me are these questions in, in these interviews? They're going to just be more on a on a lower level, kind kind of like these questions that you're asking now. Yeah. I mean, they're not even. I don't think they're going to ask you these questions because they'll already assume you know these things. So they're going to ask you harder things. I'm only asking these questions to gauge where you are relative to where you need to be, if that makes sense. Do you think that these skills are needed? Because to me, like, I don't think that these questions really gauge my technical, uh, you know, knowledge. Like when it comes to the things that I program, I could speak to those things. It very well you does because, be, but... because you're going to need to understand how the hardware works at a hardware company. When I write int x equals one, and you said, sorry, Java, you code in? Yeah. So if I write int x equals one in Java, where is where is that stored? What do you mean, where is it stored? Like, where does that, where does that number placed? It's, it's in memory. Yeah, where in memory? Wh which, which form of memory? Hmm... Whichever one it has to go to. Okay, so which one does it have to go to? Because there's a, it's a very particular place. So if you're saying int yeah. blank equals one. Int x equals one. Where is where's int. x stored? I couldn't tell you. Okay, have you heard of the concept of a stack? Yes. In what in what context have you heard about a stack? In operating system data, context or the data structure context? Data structures. Okay. Um, I'm sure it probably transfers over to, to similar meaning in operating systems. No, it's yeah. Well, I'm just familiar with data structures and algorithms. That's the issue. Like you're gonna need to really like uh, progress in your operating systems knowledge. Did you take any operating systems classes as a junior? 
No, I have I have one coming up. Okay, you definitely want to focus on that. That's that's going to be uh, like a key component of any hardware related course. Do you what What do you know about concurrency? When I say the word concurrency, what comes to what comes to mind? Thinking of um, multiple like like processing multiple multiple things at once. Okay, and then like what sort of libraries or functions are available, in in the context of Java for concurrency. I'm unsure within Java. Um, or maybe another language. Yeah, the, the the only thing that I really think about um, when it comes to concurrency is I can't remember the exact name of it. It's the um ah uh, man, I can't remember the exact name of it. Basically. It, it, it's the platform that NVIDIA deals with in their basic, their whole GPUs. Um, CUDA? I can't remember the, yeah, CUDA. I can't remember the exact name of it. Okay. Um, do you have any notion of like locking, like spin locks? No, I don't know what that is. Okay. That, that you're definitely going to need a lot of that. So a lot of it's going to be hardware, computer architecture. Even so, if you want to be a software engineer? Software engineer and a hardware company. So you're going to need that right. hardware background. So let me ask you this. Um, if I was to ask you about like high level, what is cache in the context of computer hardware? What, what is that? That's, um, that's temporary storage. Um, very closely. It is very close to the CPU. It's the closest temporary storage you can get. Okay. Uh, and how many CPU. levels of cache are there usually in a modern computer? I think there's three. Okay. Which one is shared amongst CP, uh, CPU cores? I can't give you that one. Okay. Um, how long would you say it would take a program to access a unit of cache memory? Unsure. Uh, one second, one millisecond, five nanoseconds. How long? Uh, I'll say um definitely less than a second. I'm not sure if a millisecond would, would represent it. It's definitely less than a second. Okay. Yeah, a, a second to go to cash would be a very long time. So usually at that L1 level, it's on the scale of it's on the scale of uh, nanoseconds. So like you might say five, 10 nanoseconds, probably less, maybe around five. Um, when, when I say 64 bit architecture, what comes to mind? Um, I'm thinking of just a CPU that's built on a 64 bit architecture. Yeah, but what does that mean? It means that all instructions ran on the CPU can contain up to 64 bits. Sure, the register size is 64 bits, okay. Um, and how many bits are in a byte? Eight. Okay. All right, I'm just getting a, a sense for for your understanding. Now, if, you, if I have a multi-core system, what dictates, what dictates how different cores synchronize their state between each other. So imagine you have a computer with multiple cores and each core is like a brain. Now these brains need to be in sync, right? Because you can't have one brain that says move my right arm and another brain that says move my left arm, right? Right. There's a certain term that's, that discusses effectively the way that these cores ensure that they have the, the same view of memory. Do you know what that is? Is it the clock? No. I'm unsure. What is it? Have you heard of cache coherence? I haven't. Okay. I'm going to ask you maybe one more. Maybe give me, give me a class that you have taken because I'm asking you questions for uh, a class that is not as familiar, despite the fact that you want to go into hardware. 
Like, oh. tell me, tell me the classes you've taken because I want to get a gauge for your proficiency in classes that you're very familiar with. Hold on, let me go to some. Oh, I'll tell you something right now. You know, I'll, all right, hold on. And your major is what? Sorry. Computer science. Computer science. Okay. What classes have have you taken? Data structures and algorithms. Yeah. Do you know what a, uh, you might need to help me a little with this question to set it up. So there's an array in Java. Java is your language, right? Yeah. Isn't okay. a vector an array as well, but it's just some slight difference in C++? Okay, so there's an array and an array list. Are you familiar with both of those? Yeah. Okay. So what do you think the difference is? Between arrays and array lists? Yeah. How the, I would think it would just be how the objects are stored um whether they're put into i'm guessing maybe a list or some other data structure i mean what does that mean because the, the, the word list is in the title so what's the difference between an array and an array list in java there's there should be a, a vector uh, there should be a difference that's equivalent to the one in c plus plus so i'm going to go based off my c plus plus knowledge but it should be the same in java the difference between an array and an array list Mm, would it be is the size whether it's fixed okay so where does an array allocate memory not an array list where does an array allocate memory what do you mean are you saying when when something's input to it, where where does that? So if I create an array with to? a size five, you mentioned it has a fixed size five, right? Right. So let's right. say I have five integers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where is that memory stored? Do you know? I'm unsure. Okay. Like when it comes to to a memory level. Okay. Like yeah, because that's more OS stuff. That's, that's like more I'm, OS I'm stuff. Fried. Yeah. All right. Let me ask you this though. This is not OS or most. It's it's you. I think somebody should know this, despite not taking an OS class. Maybe other people can have a different opinion. If I have an array of five integers, how much memory does that array allocate? I'm not saying where does it allocate. I'm saying how much memory does it consume? If you have five integers, yeah. However much memory is needed for those five integers. Well, exactly. <laughs> Which is needed. That's not an answer because that's like saying the answer is the answer. I mean, to a degree, the answer is the answer, though. Like, <laughs> well, like, like, yeah, okay, but I mean, that that that's you're asking me about like interviewing for these companies. That sort of answer is not going to fly in an interview setting. So if I say that I'm cooked, like, yeah. there's no way if I say that I'm not getting a job because it's like, bro, it's right though. Yeah, but um, that that's that's not going to work in the interview. I mean, it's like saying, for example, somebody says, "Can you solve this algorithm?" and you say, um, "I can solve the algorithm." Like you're not. That's not the question. They're asking you, like, "How do you solve it?" And All then, right. and then, so if I say, if I ask you, "How do you solve this algorithm?" and you say, "You solve it by solving it," that's not going to get you anywhere. All right. So you're saying if so, you allocate, if, if if you define array. With the size of five. Yeah. How much memory did you just take up by Yes. Using? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't have no clue, bro. Like, okay. Lie, so, bro. okay, let me take it, make, 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 make it a little simpler. Uh, how much space does an integer take? Because where it's an array of integers, how much space does one integer take? Mm, all right, give me a hint, bro. Okay, it's under, it's under 10. 10 bytes? It's un bits? Yeah, per, per integer. It's under 10 bytes. So an integer is under 10 b bytes large. All right. I'll say uh, two bytes for an integer. No, that's a short. You're close. It's four. Four? Okay. Yeah. So these are the sorts of things you should know, especially on the hardware, hardware level. Um, and I've been asking you a lot of questions, so maybe you can ask me questions. Otherwise, I don't want to just... Okay. Know. So, I mean, yeah... Cool. So within the hardware level, it seems like it's really going to be a, a focus on, I'm guessing, operating systems. Yeah. Um, does 
So will learning operating systems help to understand me understand the whole memory thing as far as where this will be placed in memory and how much memory this may take? Yep, it will. Okay, so that's all in operating systems. Yeah. Um, what are going to be the other keys as far as the these hardware? Um, operating system and computer architecture, so computer hardware. And um, that's going to be books like Inside the Machine, But How Do It Know? Those, those, those two books are going to be important. So those are the books you definitely need to read on your own time because I don't know what the quality of the professors are at whatever school you go to. So we're talking about computer architecture and operating systems. And then what were the name of the um, books? Uh, but How Do It Know? And Inside the Machine. They're going to ask you a lot more stuff than that, though, because they're going to ask you GPU-specific stuff. So, like, single instruction, multiple data, multiple instruction, multiple data. Even as a new grad coming in, like, this shit is really going to be like... Yeah, dude, they don't play around, honestly. These are the top... You're, at, you're, at, you're gunning for the top company right. in the space. So they're going to make sure you know your stuff. 